Hi, this is a clinical question and it's related to how we deal with uh, situation in a premature baby. So uh, the nurse is calling you that the baby has repeated uh, desaturation episodes after an episode of apnea. It's a premature baby on NIV. So which clinical measure is likely to help this baby in addition to careful clinical evaluation? So I would request you to choose any one of these responses. So increase the pressure delivered by NIV to try and recruit the lung volume lost during the apnea and to maintain the FRC. Urgent blood gas analysis, increase the FiO2 by 20% more than the current requirement, start positive pressure ventilation and all of the above. So choose the best uh, response that you think. Uh, pause the slide for a second to think about it. Okay, so I'll share a video where I've discussed this clinical parameter in a little more detail and approach, bedside approach to apnea and desaturation in a premature baby. So loss of FRC is the commonest reason that following an apneic episode, uh, during the apneic episode, the FRC goes down. And because FRC is important for the baby to oxygenate, uh, the loss of lung volume leads to repeated desaturation episodes after that episode. So it's very important that we uh, recruit the lung by increasing the pressure. So this can be done quickly by the nurse at the bedside if you educate them. An urgent blood gas analysis mostly is not indicated because uh, you do a clinical assessment and decide if the baby is needing additional support or not. A blood gas doesn't usually help in the situation. Uh, when we increase oxygen, we tend to increase in steps of 5 to 10%. 20% is a big jump and we would like to avoid that because huge swings in oxygenation can affect ROP risk as well. And IPPV would be needed or positive pressure ventilation with the neopuff by the bedside would be needed if the baby has gone apneic and is not responding but not in case of desaturation episode. So here we need to maybe stimulate the baby, we need to position the neck, we may need to uh, make sure the feeding tube is in the stomach appropriately, there is no reflux and we look at uh, recruiting the lung. And of course, if this keeps happening, uh, you need to consider sepsis. As I've discussed in the other video, after a hypoxic episode, the baby does get floppy and may become mottled for a brief uh, time. But once you recruit the lung and the oxygenation stabilizes for a while, the baby starts responding better. So don't jump to do a septic screen unless you have a clear ground to uh, worry about the baby's condition. Observe the baby for half an hour, one hour after you have made this change. Monitor closely and of course intervene if needed. So uh, all of the above would not be the right answer because we have a couple of choices which uh, are not really right. And so you would go with the choice A, which is uh, to recruit the lung. I hope this helps and please do share this with your nursing team as well. And do like the video. Thank you.